Hi, so what I've done here is I've, I've found the ground um, pin on the GPIO and I'm running it along this rail here. Uh, as you can see, I've marked it clearly with plus and minus. Now, I know this is a red line and that's um, a, um, a black line, but if I go further down the board, it's exactly the reverse, which kind of annoys me. Um, so I basically said, right, you know, I ignore the lines. It's going to be plus and minus. So, yeah, um, I've got the ground here and it runs all across um, all across these sections here um, so even though I've got the ground pin here I've also got the wire from the other side of the board going all the way down so basically the two power points are sharing the same ground connection um, this is the 3.3 volt rail um, so this is positive there and uh, and that's going to be the ground and here I've got the 5 volt rail so that's 5 volt there and um, and that's the ground now as I understand it the difference between the 5 volt and the 3 volt 3 is that um, the 3.3 volts gives out a constant 50 milliamps if I'm correct correct me if I'm wrong in the comments um, uh, while uh, the 5 volt gives whatever the power supply is able to give. So if you've got a 1 amp power supply and uh, the board is drawing 300 milliamps, then you would have about 300 milli... Uh, sorry, if... <laughs> try that again. Um, if the board is drawing 700 milliamps um, from a 1 amp supply, then you should have 300 milliamps to play with. Now this varies depending on the power supply you've got connected to the Raspberry Pi. Um, now I need to do more research on this to make sure I'm properly grounded. But this is just a very simple experiment. Um, just taking the 3.3 volt line, which as I understand it has a consistent um, milliampage. And I'm just going to turn on an LED. So all I'm doing at the moment is drawing power from um, the 3.3 and the ground and I'm going to take this um, LED and plug it in now um, it's um, the long pin is positive and the short pin is negative uh, as you can see I've got the resistor from the positive rail going down here so this is now covering um, this rail in this direction so it always goes across and if I put my LED there and the other end into the negative then as you can see, we do in fact have power from the LED. Um, I am using a 220 ohm resistor. I'm supposed to be using a uh, 270 ohm resistor, um, but uh, basically I didn't have one, so I may do with what I had. And as you can see, the LED isn't burning out or anything. Um, this is quite um, a large LED. I believe this is the... Uh, uh, Five millimeter, so it should have a pretty high tolerance for uh, for errors like this. Um, but yeah, I mean, as you can see, I'm basically drawing the current here, um, or drawing the voltage rather from uh, the Raspberry Pi directly into the board. And of course, because I've got this nice um, um, Lego setup, I'm just going to pull this wire out because I've managed to get the the power lead in between. So I'm just going to pull that out. Get the power lead out the way and put that back in again. Now I've put the power pins at either end of the board. You'll notice that the ground is always well away from, um, um, yeah, the ground is always well away from the, the, the main um, positive lead. And um, this is so that when it bends over, it can't short out. So never put them close together. You don't want short outs in it. That may possibly cause damage to the pie. Um, uh, and basically now all I can do, all I have to do is mount it back into the top of my unit. And now I've got a nice neat case. The circuit board there that I can take in and out as will. And, uh, and perform some experiments with. So I've got a whole range of pins here that I'm going to use to assign the um, um, various GPIO outputs to. And, uh, and that'll be basically it. So yeah, this is uh, the Raspberry Pi. I've now got a working test circuit. It's a very simple LED. Um, but it is working and it's drawing power. And, um, 
and that's great. So there we go. I'll uh, I'll progress on to the next stage of the project, which of course will be a simple blinking LED using um, Raspberry Pi commands.